Hello and welcome to another edition of Fast Facts. Today we are going to be talking about Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So here we go. The Chamber of Secrets was directed by Chris Columbus is only one of two Harry Potter films to not be nominated for an Academy Award. Despite being the second shortest book, The Chamber of Secrets was the longest Harry Potter film. Filming began three days after the release of The Sorcerer's Stone, or Philosopher's Stone as apparently all of you know it as. In Borgen and Burks, you can spot the opal necklace that will later make an appearance in The Half-Blood Prince. To create the scene where Harry and Ron crash into the Whomping Willow, the crew destroyed 14 Ford Anglias. The Ford Anglia was selected by J.K. Rowling because it was the model of car she and one of her close friends drove as a teenager. The actor who played Lucius Malfoy came up with the idea for the character to have long blonde hair and walk with his wand concealed in a walking stick. Richard Harris, who played Dumbledore, passed away just a few weeks before the film's release. Despite his diminishing health, Harris insisted on producers not recasting him and desired to continue playing the character. Dumbledore's office was the most expensive set created in the Harry Potter franchise at that time. Special funds had to be sought out to make it happen. Hugh Grant was originally cast as Gilderoy Lockhart, but had to back out last minute due to scheduling conflicts. Shirley Henderson, who plays Moaning Myrtle, is the oldest actor to play a student at 37. Instead of acting petrified, full-size models of the students were actually created to maintain rigidity. The line, I didn't know you could read, from Malfoy to Goyle, was an improvision from Tom Felton, who had forgotten his line. Classic Malfoy, am I right? Daniel Radcliffe was originally offered 125,000 euros for the second film, and Actors Union stepped in and renegotiated his terms to 2 million euros. After the film's release, articles came out that Russian President Vladimir Putin was offended that Dobby was created in his image. Whether or not this is true, it's kind of true. Cinematographer Roger Pratt was instructed by Chris Columbus to bring a darker look to the film to reflect the story. This trend pushed forward for each future film. You can spot a few hardcover copies of the Harry Potter books behind Lockhart in flourished in blots. During the shoot, Dobby was played by a ball on a stick and then added digitally later. The Chamber of Secrets is reportedly Daniel Radcliffe's favorite Harry Potter book. Ron's actor, Rupert Grint, actually has a severe case of arachnophobia. The 2002 Scooby-Doo film got unusual traffic from Potter fans who went to see the release of the trailer for The Chamber of Secrets. Thanks for watching this edition of Fast Facts and stay tuned for more information than you ever wanted to know on the Harry Potter films. Don't miss out on any Super Carlin Brothers action. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I can't emphasize this enough. Jay having more followers than me is really getting to his head.